Okay, uh, the way to create images from a PowerPoint presentation um, is a little bit easier. Uh, I, I use Google Slides, uh, but if I did do PowerPoint, it would, it would, it's, really, it's really easy. You can actually save, uh, and you could do uh, something similar uh, with Google Slides. Uh, you could save as a PowerPoint and then create the images uh, instantly as a PowerPoint. So um, with, with uh, I will use Kingsoft presentation software. It's actually the equivalent of Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, and so if you do not know or if you do not have Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, you can easily go to, um, I believe it's Kingsoft so, um, presentation. Uh, Kingsoft presentation. And you can go to kingsoftstore.com uh, and download an equivalent of the uh, Microsoft Office uh, here or presentation by itself for free. And you can download it here for free. That's like having a Microsoft PowerPoint for free. Okay. Let's go back right fast. So let's say, for example, we create two slides, create a new slide, new slide. Once it's in there, uh, the only thing on this before you save as JPEGs uh, that you want to be cognizant, cognizant of is uh, ensuring that these slides are in a 16-9 ratio. In other words, that they're a widescreen so that they look right on the TV and there's no black bars on the right and the left, and you maximize the space on the TV. Okay. Uh, with um, with PowerPoint, you can see here there's an option in the latest PowerPoint where you can under page setup you can slide slide you can size the slides uh, for 16:9 ratio, which is uh, 16 inches wide and nine high, or proportionally speaking. Okay, that that would be the uh, conversion factor. So, uh, at any rate, so let's go into file page setup once the slides are created, um, and then let's go to um, for example, this would be 19 centimeters by, I'm sorry, 16 centimeters, 16 centimeters by 9 centimeters, or any equivalent to that. Um, you could go 32 centimeters by 18 uh, would be an equivalent uh, widescreen version. And now you see how it widened itself. Okay. Once you change that aspect ratio of the slide itself, uh, instead of using uh, the uh, green shot um, uh, print. Instead of using a, a screenshot software like, you know, Capture Region, like this, and then saving that as a JPEG, uh, PowerPoint's nice uh, because um, you could actually go in and go save as. You go save as, and you want to save as a JPEG. Okay, all the slides as a JPEG, and you find the folder you want to save them in. Uh, and once you, uh, you know, you hit test. For example, we'll say uh, test two. Okay, you save. Okay, and you want to do every slide. Okay, click OK. Go into the uh, folder you created. It it actually creates a folder based on the name that you put in there, test two. And then inside of it, you'll see your slides that are created, your images. They they create they're created as images, and uh, you know you can zoom in, and uh, that should look halfway decent on the TriCaster. So, uh, at any rate, that's kind of a fast way using PowerPoint, which is probably what you're going to use. Uh, no screenshots necessary, no screen capturing. I prefer to stay in Google Docs uh, so that my stuff is on a cloud and none of it gets lost. And it's also uh, searchable that way. I can search all my notes and every word that I ever, ever typed and any message ever uh, using Google Slides. Uh, kind of an advantage uh, for Google Slides. However, in the final prep, it may take you a few extra minutes to screenshot the actual images themselves. Now, if, uh, if you do use Google Slides, uh, let's go for example, um, let's find... Uh, here we go. Let's go to Drive, and you go into Google Slides, <clears throat> and let's find Light Explosion. Okay. Let's go to Teachings. Let's go to Trust. For example, I will trust you. Okay. This was uh, last week's message. Um, if you go into uh, Google Slides, um, I very well could uh, quickly. Download as, once I'm done editing, download as a PowerPoint. Okay. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to Send in the Camp. Okay, trust. Save it as a PowerPoint. Go into PowerPoint or and or go back to Google here. Go back to, here we go here. Open it. Okay. Um, sometimes they're uh, with, with the openings. Uh, like for example here you can see you lost the highlights we lost some of the editing for the most part uh, all the screens stay pretty consistent uh, sometimes there's some uh, formatting issues make sure that all the formatting issues are solved sometimes it's a little tight 
I might have to come in and just do a little bit of pre-editing right fast, make sure everything's okay. You lose your highlights in the process, um, but you know if, if that was okay with you, you didn't, you didn't want to worry about highlights. Uh, however, it does keep the uh, the bold lettering, and then if, then we would come in and go save as. I would trust you. So save as a JPEG. Sorry, JPEG. I will trust you. Save every slide. Click OK. Come in here and go into some of the camp. I will trust in you. And there's all your images. Take those, put them on a flash drive, um, uh, a USB flash drive, or and or upload them to the server and uh, put them on the TriCaster right from your machine. If you're already on the network and you have access to the TriCaster, that would be the simplest way. And you are good to go. Uh, thanks. Hope you have a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye.